Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Exile Survival. How are we doing guys? I hope you guys are all well. Okay, so let's get over it. Let's get to it. So what I want to do with you guys today is I want to show you a couple things um, in regards to weaponry and a certain event that's popped up, which I'm going to show you guys um, soon enough. But for now, I sort of want to focus on what you guys might want to do as a good um, starting point, especially when you guys are uh, when you get the game in your hands and start playing it specifically so my recommendation here is to look at what you guys can craft yourselves and particularly so say for example you look at the basic sword now the basic sword on its own is good but the basic sword twice is better now what do I mean by that what I'm trying to say is if you guys go ahead and craft up two of these um, fellas here okay so let's just go take these and let's go into our inventory here let's take this out for now and let's pop one over here so right now he's going to be able to do your standard jabs hits and all that sort of stuff however let us grab the other sword now he's got two. What does that do? You got five damage here, and you got five damage here. So let's go ahead and muck around with that. So you guys, if you guys have actually seen the Facebook development page here, you guys will know that this has already been talked about, that the fact that you can do dual weapons and things like that. So I thought I might just quickly show you guys what you could be doing. And yeah, my su uh, suggestion is to um, find enough resources and craft these two at the very least or if you guys feel like you want to use say the basic club for example if you look at the spec sheet for that it more or less does the same thing and you've got 0.25% of physical defense penetration um, versus the sword here you've got the multiplier chance uh, buff so it's up to you how you guys want to sort of uh, position yourselves which uh, weapon you want to use at the beginning totally up to you you've also got the basic axe here as well that does just your basic stuff so it doesn't really do too much but naturally that's going to be the the lowest costing thing that you guys will be able to obtain so if you guys want to start with that start with that um, however you however way you, you guys want to do it and then obviously you've got the um, hatchet and the pickaxe if you guys want to go down that far as well it's up to you guys you can actually have one of each as well so um, you don't have to have the same um, weapon type for the dual action so you can actually use say that or that in conjunction with that or whatever it might be so whatever you guys got on hand if the player allows you to do it then you do it so that's probably the best thing I can sort of say so with that being said um, I'm actually going to can I actually get rid of these and I'm going to explain why I've got that in the first place anyway so for now um, I think if you guys can go I think it's over here I think it's the forge it's something I know it's something there's an area that you can disassemble certain parts and things like that so you guys want to definitely go ahead and do that as well as a as a measure um, but otherwise I think some of them you can't actually do if I might be correct with that anyway so I may as well just get rid of that because that's pretty much on its way out and I'll just pop that back cool so what you'll also find if you guys are playing the game as well or if you guys are looking to play the game shortly um, is that you can definitely um, make use of the uh, resources that are laid here in your zone now I believe it's daily I'm not too sure what the frequency is even if you clear your zone and pick up all the resources here and you've got absolutely nothing don't stress why is because these things regenerate yes they regenerate so every so often you'll find that you'll get resources back on in your zone and you can um, hit auto mode and let you get your player uh, run around and he will pick up and recollect everything which is a great thing so if you guys are very um, pretty much struggling at the start um, early in game um, that's a good thing for now at least that way you guys can sort of build yourselves up a little bit and hopefully you guys won't sort of um, 
you know, you guys won't um, run out of things to do, or if you guys are, you know, worried about running into zones and things like that because of the whole um, uh, difficulty. So, yeah, just thought I'd just point that out because it's also a just a good little tidbit just to sort of know for now until you guys sort of get yourselves um, at, at to a point that you can um, let's just take these um, uh, survive I guess at the end of the day um, okay so what I want to do here is I don't know why they don't sort of allow you to take it from your inventory pouch but I find that weird anyway so you may as well just create what you can and just get yourself healed up just wanted to get my hunger excuse me my hunger factor back up okay so what I want to do now is just want to sort of explain the importance of the forge and how you guys want to position yourselves especially when you guys have accessibility to the forge to create um, certain items so right now what we've got here and what you're seeing is the basics that I've acquired a couple of copper axes which I'm going to start using a little bit more as opposed to what I'm using now and again I'm going to go ahead and explain that a little bit later because I'm going to sort of tie a lot of things in but mention it um, when I mentioned beforehand where you guys were able to use dual um, weaponry that's where I'm going to use the copper axes for now it's the cheapest thing to make as opposed to um, everything else so when you sort of look at it um, so the resource factor here, so you've got two copper bars, one plank, and one of these are uh, uh, sort of hoarding. It's, a, it's like a little, I don't know why it's, it says wood there. I have no idea what's going on there, but anyway. It's like a little stone, that's what it is. And then if you look at over the, um, the next part here, you can see the resources start to stack up and so on and so forth, and you guys sort of get the idea. So right now I, I've actually crafted a couple of these uh, two-handed copper swords. Uh, they do quite well and it's sort of got me out of a lot of situations where I haven't had to um, on the brink of sort of dying and I was able to get myself out of there just because of this sword. So pretty happy that I've been able to craft that. And then obviously you've got all these uh, armor and things like that. I haven't really delved into that just yet myself. So still trying to get a lot more resources together so I can actually start getting um, those crafted but for now I'm just gonna run in without any armor or anything like that you should be fine as well yourself so I don't think you guys should have any sort of problems if you've got the right things in place so we're gonna quickly head out and we'll go into a basic zone just for now um, I don't know if I want to go to the crossroads you got the Valley of Sorrow over there, which um, is level 15, and you got a few other things there. So uh, let's just go to Crossroads for now. I think that's the closest place here. And let's just go in. I just want to show you guys the um, this weapon. Okay, so let's get into it. Oop, helped if he actually landed a hit. So. So long as your hands hits, he's, you're gonna be okay. And especially when you've got a, a weapon as powerful as this, you, know, you guys aren't gonna have a problem in um, running any sort of zone and have any sort of impact towards your playtime. So just keep playing as you normally are. And let's just grab a few things here. And like I said, I'm gonna clear out the zone. I'm hoping, there we go. Hope I was hoping to get some of these guys here and again I still I still keep pressing this button up way too early and I don't know why I keep doing that but I do it is what it is so let's just take a few of these and I'm just gonna drop them in there and at the moment I've got way too many items in uh, with me at the moment but th that doesn't matter so let's just keep going okay Let's just take this fella on here. Landed a decent hit, there we go. So I may as well just start eating some of my resources up because I'm close to uh, death there, but that's no problem here. Grab a few things as well at the same time. Mainly wood that I'm sort of more focused on as well. 
And I'm really trying to find a lot of these, um, these trees here. And the trees, sometimes if you're lucky, they'll um, spit out bark as well as the wood that you're chopping down. So if you are lucky, you do get that. And the reason why that I want bark is I want that so I can um, uh, use that for the tanning and I can actually have leather as well. So that's what I'm, it's the only reason why that I want that. But right now, early in game, um, I want to grab the, the next level um, backpack. So that's the only reason why that I'm after um, leather at the moment. And I'm nearly there, I'm pretty much halfway getting all the leather um, all collated. So all, all these little animal hides that I'm picking up now is pretty much I've got uh, as much as I, I can possibly get but it's always good to grab a few a few extra ones as well because I mean you need the animal hide to get yourself basic tier armor and if you've got that then at least that way you guys can you know, have a little bit more uh, defense on your side so I'm just gonna eat some of this as well I think I'm about to level up as well to level 11 um, pretty much close by but you don't know what's going to happen here as well. If your play starts missing and then you start getting hit quite bad. Yeah, anyway. At least you just survive and you just move on to something else. Okay, come on. Come on. So, what do you guys think about the sword? Pretty neat, huh? Like I said, you do need to be careful and you sort of got to play your cards right. And only just because so you guys don't sort of overdo it because it can be easily done and I sort of fell into that trap um, quite early so it's quick to realize what was going on and I pretty much got myself out of, um, out of trouble and pretty much got myself out of there but that's pretty much it um, for this part here and yeah as I'm sort of um, thinking about it now just Make sure that you're sort of using your skill tree effectively as well. What I'm thinking is I might be probably getting rid of the great axes and returning the points back to me because you can actually reset the points if you go ahead and do that. I won't do that just yet because I just want to sort of build up my points a little bit and probably the only time I want to sort of um, look at making a change, I'll probably make a change a little bit further down the line and I'll probably start putting points possibly into sword and maybe standard axes, I'm not too sure yet. Maces, I'm probably gonna leave out in great maces for now. Uh, dual weapons, you probably wanna use that um, that attribute as well if you guys wanna sort of, um, you know, start using uh, two weapons instead of one, that's entirely up to you. But I figured I'd just sort of just, yeah, spend two seconds on this just so you guys are a little bit aware on that as well. But I think there's going to be times where you might have to sort of um, revisit your skill tree and sort of make a change and adjustment as well. So be careful what you want to do and what you um, what you do with them and what you want to use. Um, and especially because there's weapons out there that will maximise and leverage off those skill um, those skill points there that might benefit you later on, um, whereas it may not be um, a necessity right now maybe just hold off would be my recommendation until you get to a point where you guys aren't able to um you know survive or, or do anything like that so basically that that would be my suggestion to you guys you know if you guys want to um if you guys want to use it use it if not then that, that's completely fine all right so the next thing i want to do is i just want to um return here and i'm going to pick up these sets of armor as, as you can see, halfway through the leather, what's holding me back is the, the bark that I'm trying to find. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to throw a few things away and we'll get rid of those things now. And I'm going to run out to a zone in a moment and I want to show you, um, I think it's like a, a little event, if anything. So it pops up every so often. So you, you guys will definitely be able to, um, uh, you know, uh, attempt the event. So I'm, I'm just calling that for now, unless it's specified, you know, otherwise, I guess, but anyway. So, all right, so I've pretty much got everything I need. I'm ready to go. If I need to, I might just do that, just in case. And all right, let's head over uh, to this zone. Now it's only, it's on a 24 hour timer. So basically I believe it's a daily thing. 
So we're gonna go over to the Bone Faces Lair, which is a level 14 base um, uh, zone. And I'm gonna show you the Bone Face it, himself. So we're gonna run over. Now I've, I've already gone through this once admittedly. So I, I was playing um, pretty casually on my way to work and I saw, saw this pop up. So I thought I'd just play it and see what it's all about. And when I realized what was going on, um, yeah, I, I figured that I really want to make a video so you guys can you know, take a look at it yourselves as well as, as one person would at the same time. Okay, so there he is. Have a look at him. He's a big fella, isn't he? And he's got over three, he's got 300 hit points. So you guys want to be careful and make sure that you dodge his power attack. And don't be too scared to take this guy on. He does do you know, a few hits here and there. So long as you're out of that proximity, you're fine. And especially if you've got this two-handed sword like I have, which is easily obtainable, you guys aren't gonna have any problems in taking down this guy. And like, um, and like I said, you could probably even get away with um, no armor whatsoever. I only brought the armor as just like a precaution, to be honest with you. And all the, um, all the heals that I've got here, yeah, pr I don't know, pretty much either useless, possibly not needed. Oop. Okay, let's just quickly get out of his way. And we've taken him out. So as you can see, he is not that hard to take down. And he drops this bronze mace. Now I've already got one back at home, so that's the second one that I've picked up. And to be honest, that's, that's the second time I've actually uh, taken him on. So yeah, so two for two, you know, um, two being me, zero being the bone face there. So, um, and you also get a stack, um, half stack of these things. So, um, I don't know. Look, if you, if you feel like it's a, it's a worth, worthwhile event, yeah, you can definitely go, you can definitely come through here and take him out. But like I said, um, as long as you've got a level head here, you, you won't have any problems in taking that down, uh, that guy down. You could also even get away with just your basic armor. I didn't have any armor to begin with anyway. It's the only reason why that I bought the ones that I brought out here. Now this armor set is what you get when you first start the game. You do get a, a reasonably good weapon as well. I completely burned through mine. So if you guys want to sort of um, hang on to yours, including the armor set and the weapon, maybe do that and then just start using um, the basic tools and weapons that you get at the very beginning um, when you find resources and things like that. But like I said, Using the dual weapon system is awesome. And you guys definitely want to jump onto that. And I might even just um, swap some weapons around and I'll just show you what I was sort of thinking, uh, what I was wanting to sort of show you guys in the first place. So let's just head back home real quick. And let's, um, if I've got enough inventory, I've got plenty of inventory. So I'll just jump over to the forge here because that's where I had my axes beforehand. I oh, know, I know, oh, I did drop them over here. Perfect. Cool, they're here. So let us jump back to my inventory. Let's grab this guy. And now we've got dual axes. As you can see. So they're going to do 10 damage each. So if you're lucky with a hit, you'll get as, as much as um, attack as you would with the two handed sword. Um, now, I haven't actually used this before, so this would be interesting for me as well. I don't want to rate this yet. Um, but let's go over to... Yeah, we'll go over to the Hunter's Canyon. I just want to make sure that you guys are sort of um, uh, on top of these uh, sort of things as well. So let me do all the, all the legwork for you and let's see if we can take this guy out. There you go. So it doesn't do too badly. Oops, again, I did it too early. So these guys won't give you any sort of critical hits. They're only just going to be five hit. That's it. And then, oh, sorry. Um, uh, no special attack. So just standard hit and whatever. I guess while I'm here, I'm just going to make the most of it. Now, you might find that, you know, the attack might be a little bit lower. you got to bear in mind that some of these enemies will have a defense buff as well for themselves. So, 
just to sort of make it a little bit harder for you guys to uh, tackle these uh, enemies here. So just bear that in mind. Just heal up real quick. And who have we got here? Okay. Let's get out of his way. Okay. So you can see he does the full attack. Once you get it right, I don't think you guys will have a problem. Okay, let's just eat up that. And let's just go over here. Oop. Okay, probably gonna get, no, just missed out, perfect. Okay, there we go. And I've lost some armor there, but that's fine. Okay, got the rope. And we've got all the trees on the other side here. So like I said, I'm hoping I'll get some of that bark there. Okay, this little ball here. And you can already see I've only just started using these weapons as well. Into this zone at the same time. And I'm already halfway down, so I'm not too sure if that's a bug or anything like that, to be honest with you. Um, that I can't tell you right, um, honestly, but I don't know whether or not the developers need to sort of take a look at the um, uh, the, the durability for, for your weapons and things like that. But I'm just going to quickly heal up before I die. Because I have no more armor. And hence why that I'm sort of getting pretty much uh, destroyed here at the moment. But that's fine. As long as I get these little young boars here, that's fine. There we go. And... Let's jump over here. Who's this? Just your standard young boar. So there's a few of these trees. So like I said, I just want to make sure that I'm hoping I can get what I can get. Um, okay, so what have I got here? I'm just trying to think, what should I get rid of? I think I might just get rid of that for now. Uh, yep. Alright. So I'm just hoping when you're cutting away, you might come across this bark, but it's sort of a little bit harder to come by for whatever reason that is. I, don't, I have no idea why, but it's, it's really, really annoying. Come on, give me some bark. Okay, nothing. So I don't even think if you um, pick up any of these things here, it's just wood that gets picked up, nothing else really, which is a shame. But I guess at the moment they don't want to sort of open up everything right away because the game's not fully released yet, so you've got to be careful um, with that um, and don't have that wrong full expectation, I guess, at the end of the day. I think that's probably, you know, the only thing I can sort of, um, you know, suggest at this stage. I don't know who's this over here. Where did you go? Why, why'd you run away? Alright, run away from me. No problem at all. Are you going to come at me? Oh. oh, this guy. I remember this guy. Yes, I remember this guy. Yeah, don't stand in that in these bomb zones here. Just get this. As you can see, you sort of get yourself in a little bit of trouble there. And they they run quite quite a lot, so I guess as soon as he stops, you can just do a quick hit, and hopefully you might land a hit or something. But okay, Ooh. yeah. So I don't know why I can't land a hit on this guy here at the moment. Okay, just get yourself out of there. As soon as he stops again, no, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, no, okay, didn't work out, and to be honest, I don't know if, it, if it's even worth killing these things, because I don't think they drop anything, to be honest with you, there we go, alright, let's just get out of the way, drop anything worthy, I should say, so just like cloth and things like that, so nothing really um, out of the ordinary kind of thing, so, yeah, is what it is. Okay, so pretty much that's it, guys. I just thought, good little video, action-packed. There's a few things going on. 
Um, hopefully it sort of helped you in a sense as well just um, understand the game a little bit more and a little bit better um, but let me know what you think down in the comment section down below about everything here um, if you guys can do me a big favor share this um, share this game share the video um, you know out to your socials even on the uh, Facebook developer page if you guys want to share it out to the uh, exile survival page if you guys got your own sort of private pages please do that um, at least this way this sort of helps you guys out even further and help others in turn so with that all said and being done thank you guys for watching as always just drop a like for me comment down below what you think about the game and everything else in between and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit the, the uh, subscribe button and notification bell Alright guys, take it easy and I will catch you next time.